the, the sign of Allah is going to be the Holy Qur'an, the speech of Allah that nothing can contain it. There's no fabric, there's no stone, there's no book that can contain the speech of Allah except what Allah created by His two hands and blew from His Spirit into that reality and its most purified reality called Muhammadun Rasulullah So Kitabullah, the walking book of Allah is the reality of the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad That's why when we read in Surat Al-Yaseen, Allah testify again, this is not poetry. In the huwa, who, he, dhikrun wal Qur'anil mubeen. He is the dhikr of Allah He is the praise and salutations and glorification of Allah while Qur'an and mubeen. That his manzil of Qur'an, the one whom is a, the house of Holy Qur'an will be manifesting from this blessed and beloved soul that Allah will be known through that reality, its immensity, its beauty and its proximity. Then Allah in Surah Dukhan is then saying, in anzalnahu fi laylatul mubarak wa kunu munzireen. Indeed, anzalna, anzalna is the action who is the one receiving the anzalna. Wa anzalna who? So, I mean how Allah, Allah inspired them to read it. Anzalna is the action of we are, this is a, a revelation, a movement or sending down to Janaba who. Anzalna who is the subject of who's receiving what Allah is sending. So, Anzalna who? It's sent to who? Fi Laylatul Mubarakah then Allah is then giving one a blessed night and it's sent as a warning, munziran, as a warning for mankind from this soul of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah when we were reading the du'a is this Umm al-Kitab the mother of all books, if the kitab, the furqan is just the understanding of Qur'an from somebody who doesn't know the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad it's a book of right and wrong. Qur'an, Allah described the Qur'an is Allah's speech mixed with the Arabic Prophet of Allah means it has to mix into the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and becomes Holy Qur'an because Nur Muhammadi is attached to the words that are coming out. So then the reality of Holy Qur'an, the light of Holy Qur'an is, is reflecting through the Holy Speech, the ancient tongue that Allah created to be known by of this reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So means then this reality flowing from that ocean of realities and Allah saying that we revealed it to you on a blessed night. This reality and is continuously being revealed on this blessed night of Nisf shaban as a warning. And Adina ma inkunum munzini, where are we? Now we're Abba, yufrigha min kullu amrin hakeem. And on a night is made distinct every precise matter, amrin hakeem is the hikmah of every amr. So means that what Allah is bestowing upon the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad because we said that Lahul Mahfuz everything is created from Nurul Muhammadi Whether Kaaba on earth, Bayt al Mahmur in heavens, Lahul Mahfuz the preserved tablets, where are all these? What are they all created by? There's only one light that Allah going to make all realities from, it's called Muhammadun Rasulullah because it has to stay within the ocean of tawheed. La ilaha illallah is the power, Muhammadun Rasulullah is the manifestation. 
Can't be more, there can't be a third one coming in. So from that Muhammadun Rasulullah everything has been made, everything is manifesting from that light of reality. And Allah then described that this Laylatul Nisf Shaban is a blessed night. It's a night in which Allah is is revealing the destiny for that year, it's already been written from ancient but he's going to reveal it as a guidance and a warning for people of Amr. Every Amr, every Amr in order it's hikmah and Hakim is every hikmah of every Amr for this year Allah will be revealing what has anciently been written. And Allah reveals to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And everyone Ahbab and Nabi they move and run to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad for their lights to be dressed by its blessings, to be, to be given their ishara, to be given their lights, to be given their tajallis so that they imitate the Ulul Am. Because Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri minkum that the Ulul Amr are definitely all gathered already there. They're gathered in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad to take their Amr. Wa kullu Amrun Hakim. Every order of Allah its hikmah is being revealed on this night in Malakut. They don't care if not one person on earth acknowledges it is of no value, it doesn't take anything from Allah away, it doesn't stop the process. So one thing is happening in the heavens and another is you're sitting on earth. First importance is to know what's happening in heavens. So means these rijal, these souls from Budal, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad, Akhyat, Jinni wa Malaika are gathering, they are the Ulur Amr of Allah they are the people that take the alif, they are the people who serve the meem and as a result Allah made them to be Rabbaniyoon. As a title Amr is given to them, they follow the command of Allah So then where would these souls be gathering on this blessed night? They would be gathering in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And as their souls and their arwah is in the presence of that reality, Allah will give isharat to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad for every wisdom of every order, every command that will be coming out that year is being conveyed onto their souls, each to their darajat and to their certification and to their security clearance. They're taking the amr of Allah from Atiullah to Atiya Rasul, they cannot go above to hear from Allah they are the ulur am, so they wait for the isharat that came to Prophet and then from the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad these lights are burned into their reality. So they understand the hikmah of everything coming and they don't have to understand at that moment every hikmah, it's been put into the reality of their soul. And as they move throughout that year all its realities, its guidance, its sharats, all its commands will become clear to them. So it's a, it's a blessed night with immense lights, immense blessings, immense guidance, immense isharats. So we can't even understand the immensity of that night in the presence. And the night signifies the moment of non-manifesting, when they take and seclude themselves, night is a seclusion. When they seclude themselves and go and return back to their Lord and return back into the associations of light, they're being given all the isharats and the wisdoms of what Allah and the orders, commands and warnings from Allah And then those commands will be carried out throughout the year. When we understand that and that's why the next two verses after that we should have gone also is then, it's a matter proceeding from us. Indeed we are the ones who sent the messenger 
as a mercy from your Lord indeed He is hearing and He is knowing. Rahmatan rabbika inna huwa sami'un aleem that has its own reality that huwa most definitely hears and he knows. When Allah in the holy hadith said, I be the hearing in which you hear, I be the seeing in which you see, who's then the king of that, of that hadith? It's reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah That what Allah then clarifying, we bestowing to this reality all these wisdoms and hikmas and knowledges that already written upon the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad So immensity of its blessings, something that can't be imagined. And then for dunya people, awliyaullah came into their lives and said, best on the 15th of Shaban that you sit and make du'a, sit and make your salawats, sit and make your prayers. It's called Salat al Khair, it's, it's a, a voluntary prayer. Nobody can negate somebody from praying voluntary prayer. Nobody can tell anyone that ibadah is not allowed, worshipness is not allowed, this is a, this a innovation. There is no innovation in ibadah, in accepted ibadah, in prayers. When you're praying prayers that are prayers, you're making salah. You can make as much salah as you want sunnah salah. You can recite ayatul uh, ikhlas as much as you want. So Allah came and said, recite it 1000 times because every three has the ajr of one whole recitation of Qur'an. With all its secrets, all its realities, you're reciting every three surat al ikhlas, Allah dresses the soul as if it recite, recited the whole entire Qur'an. And there are hadiths on this reality when Sayyidatina Fatima Tuzari salam and Prophet gave a, a weird and people to recite and he said, from my companions I want to get Sayyidina Fatima Tuzari salam to be married, I'm going to give a wazifa and whoever recites this wazifa then we'll accept the hand. They all ran to do the wazifa. Imam Ali came back after a few minutes and said, I finished. Said, hmm? And the Sahabi shocked because Prophet knows, he knows the secret, of course he's the winner. He's going to show them that he knows these realities, he knows the, this trust, he has the reality of these knowledges. He came back and said, how you how recited all of Qur'an like this? I read three Surat al-Ikhlas. Had the whole ajr of, of Qur'an and basically what Imam Ali read that day is, is almost identical to the Naqshbandi Allah. So it means that there are ways and realities that Allah has given have immense blessing, immense blessing. So to sit and to recite Surat Al-Ikhlas 1000 times you can do by tasbih, then to pray 100 rakah means 50 sets of two. So that you're spending the night in worshipness and in remembrance to be dressed. Why? Because Allah is, is granting immense blessings in malakut. And we are a people who understood the reality, if you can't be there and, you, and you're not from somebody who's there, at least you imitate those who are there and that's why we took shaykhs, is because they are reflections. If they are going to be in those associations, they taught us that recite these things on these days and these blessed days and blessed nights and by reciting them you're going to be mirroring these blessings and they'll be dressing upon you. So we sit and we recite what they've given us to recite, they're completely voluntary but they have an immense reality behind them. And that's why shaitan is so fiercely to block it and say, no, 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 this is this, this is this and make every type of not, not polite word when it comes to worshipness. So it means it has an immense reality and that's the blessings of sitting and, and trying to take that tajalli, take that dress and that Allah dress us and bless us. And we said before that, that the next day of fasting is so that Allah can complete His favours upon us. These lights are of an immense reality 
that we cannot achieve only by our worshipness and by sitting, Allah then gave the reality that if you are fasting then I give the reward directly from the fasting. So the state of fasting on the 15th is so that Allah can complete His ni'mat upon us and dress us and bless us from these realities. So alhamdulillah that Allah gave us this, this love within our hearts to, to guidance and to follow the reality of awliyaullah and how to reach from these understandings, to be dressed by these blessings and understandings that have immense blessings for our life, immense blessings. Imagine how many difficulties were taken away just by following what they taught us to follow. We sit, we recite, you don't have to feel that you're being elevated, you don't have to know anything. All that we know is how many blessings have come into our life and difficulties taken away. How much sustenance been granted as a result of that reality by sitting in on, on holy nights and just waiting for these tajallis to reach to us by imitation. So we pray that Allah by the barakah and the blessings of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad too numerous to even put with the tongue and to describe with the tongue that if we're right imagine then the immensity of the blessings that people are receiving. And the people who say, no there's, there's no shaba barat, what if these awliya were all right and you missed it and it didn't cost you anything to get it other than you know the nafs and shaitan that become partners and tell people, no, no don't, don't do that and do what in its place, go to movie, watch television, you're going to miss all this ni'mat. So it means that anyone who has a, a drop of wisdom in their brain if someone tells them there is a possibility of a blessing tonight, what do you do? You sit and get it. What could be better in my life to sit and take that blessing? And even if the person was wrong, you don't think Allah will give you the blessing because your intention was good. Kula amalun bi niyyah. If some, a servant sits with the intention that they hurt something good and they should do this as a good. Allah is the one whom is the best to give the hisab. Allah gives everything, says, you sat for it, I'm going to dress you from it. So it means in any way you look, we are people who are hunting for barakah and blessings and, and realities and Allah make everything to be blessed and easy. He doesn't want difficulty for the servant. So you can sit on these prayers on a chair. You can sit on the floor on your knees to make your salah, whatever is easiest for you Allah doesn't wish for hardship upon the servant. So alhamdulillah so many ways to receive blessings and, and barakah. We pray that Allah dress us, bless us from these realities and that to reflect from the highest intention that we know nothing and we ask for the intention of Sayyidina Muhammad the intention of Ashab al-Nabi the intention of Ahl al-Bayt al-Nabi and the intention of awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard to be dressed upon us. What they know is the intention, Ya Rabbi grant us from that reality. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.